run Sea Hunt and reruns. That was, what, that was his big question. They don't, huh? I don't Somewhere see him. I wonder probably. who owns those things. What studio is that? Okay, stand by. Here we go. Yeah, take the first one in its spirit that it's intended. Okay. okay. We've been talking about this all morning. Anytime. All right, Jeff, what's wrong with Tommy Lee Jones? <laughs> what's wrong with him? Gee, I don't think anything's now, wrong. Have you ever, did you spend any time with him while you were making the movie or because you were adversaries, you stayed apart? Uh, I wish I got to spend uh, more time with him. Uh, he's one of my favorite actors. He's, mm -hmm. he's really something. We just find him very complicated. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, I don't know. It's something, there's something uh, terrific about uh, movies when you're working in movies, where uh, the context of making a film you kind of hold everything the way people are because you're constantly dealing with egos and different personalities and stuff. And uh, when you're making a movie, it all just goes into the goes into the work. And uh, Tommy is a very professional uh, actor. And uh, you know it's all about the about the work, and that's you know that's like the common denominator. So, you know whatever whatever words people say, whatever you know, it's 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 going for the work. And uh, he was terrific to work with. Have you changed any of the, over the years about work versus your life? You know your personal life and the quality of life that you have with, with kids and family and all this kind of stuff, versus just being so into the work. Yeah, well, kids. Do you have you have kids? Yeah, that changes the whole totally. the whole uh, point of the game. You know, um, one of the toughest parts uh, of my job is being away from mm -hmm. my family as much as I have to be, and uh, that's like one of the challenges as well to try to how you uh, you know. I what I found is that uh, the challenge is to keep that engagement between your wife and, and your kids because what the the tendency to do is to kind of let all those feelings and the homesickness, you know, the let let the that uh, side of it kind of you kind of atrophy. You kind of get into where you are, and that happens both for the family that's mm -hmm. separated and and for myself. And so now we we you know put extra energy into making phone calls, you know, faxing. I'll draw faxes for my kids, and you know, even when they don't, you know, don't want to talk to me if they're watching on the. TV right. on the phone, or you know, I'm on the phone. They're watching TV. I say, get them over here. I got to tell them. You That's know. right. Yeah, I find that particular teenagers, they got other things. That's on the right. Agenda. Yeah. You get jealous of that, but you do. Yeah. Uh, I saw a funny nickname your brother called you. Are you familiar with it? He called you the Sloth. The, oh, the Sloth. <laughs> He's got many nicknames for me. The Sloth. That's an interesting one. That <laughs> probably comes from being so, you know, relaxed and kind of, you know, laid back. And Bo is not in my teenage years. Uh, Bo is no. Bo is uh, is a terrific athlete and uh, very uh, you know uh, a, a great competitor. And uh, he has a little bit more uh, energy in that in that way than I do. But I, you know, I'm I can yeah I can lay, lay around a lot. <laughs> I have a lazy uh, side to me. Did you get scared any while you were doing some of these scenes? I know that. Some piece of sheet metal passed you in the wind. Oh yeah, and, uh, sure. Did you ever stop acting and just say, "Okay, I'm just worried about surviving here"? Well, those kind of scenes, it, it uh, they sort of transcend acting. You don't have to worry about acting when you know you're yeah, what's running my motivation into a, yeah here? running into an explosion. You know, you save your life. Survival is your motivation. Uh, and there were several uh, several scenes like that. And one really did that sheet metal actually passed you? The one oh, yeah. the explosion that's behind you? Yes, right. Yeah, I, I was, uh, you know, really elated that I had survived. It looked like you were on fire. Shot. Was uh, that part? Of, was that a stunt? Something they yeah, put on that, you? Yeah. Oh, that was supposed to be. Yeah. There. But it looked too real. It oh, it was some, you know, very uh, Vince Dedrick, who is my stunt double and also choreographed all the stunts in the show, did a really remarkable job. I mean, some of the explosions. I think this the one explosion in the film that's could possibly be the biggest explosion yeah. ever seen in a, in a motion picture. And, to, and he was in there, you know, doing stuff right in with that blast that was uh, remarkable. Do you have one word to describe the people who really do this in real life? <laughs> one word, I don't know, several across my mind. There's something special about these guys, I'll tell you. They're real um, heroes, I guess, would be one, one word that pops in there. Uh, they either have an extra part or a missing part or something that allows them to 
put their their lives on the line like that for the rest of us. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's remarkable what they do. Well, this is a fun movie. Thank you. No, I'm glad it. you enjoyed it. Right. Yeah, I thought that well that was part of it. We thought you were really on fire. They said, "Man, my God, you know."